بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم سٹوڈنٹس آئی ایم ڈاکٹر افشان سید عباس یور کو کورس انسٹرکٹر آف پیلینٹولوجی اینڈ زو جیوگرافی پریکٹیکل ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو لرن اباؤٹ دا ڈفرینٹ ٹائپ آف ورٹیبریٹ فوسلس لائک ہارسز ایلیفینٹس کیملس and poets by recalling your theory class you should know that vertebrates have evolved from ancient time till date while talking about the horses they are changed with time there are a number of changes which are being observed like the enlargement of the skull and the reduction in the number of toes with the passage of time it is also notable that with the passage of time the brachiodont tooth is evolved into hypsodont tooth these are the photographs of the ventral view of metacarpals of the several extinct taxa of horses here the a figure is depicting the hyracotherium with four digits of toe this one is showing the fused digits belonging to mesohippus this fossil of metacarpal has two digits and belongs to dinohippus and here three digits are present and it belongs to megahippus these are the fossilized skulls of different genera of horses among these hipparian were the horses with long nose they were found approximately 5 to 10 million years ago mega hippus are the large horses with a very specialized leaf eating habit they were the last browsing horses of north america as they had low crown teeth pleohippus were found in the middle miocene they were similar to genus ecus their skull shows a special characteristics that is the presence of this orbit in front of the orbit of eye this depression may be due to the attachment site of the lip muscles a few species of the genus ecus are extinct they include giant horses with flat face and long head anchitherium clearensi were the species of horse which were found in the late miocene they were the browsing animals so they had brachiodont teeth it means that they had low crown teeth which were meant for eating leaves of the trees with the passage of time the brachiodont teeth of horses evolved to hypsodont 
it means the low crown teeth were evolved to high crown teeth here from a to c these are the hypsodont teeth of the upper jaw of different species of the horses and from d to i are the hypsodont teeth of the lower jaw of different species of the horses this is the fossilized skull of a camel with preserved lower and upper jaws these are the pictures of the lower teeth of the different species of the extinct camels here you can see these are the brachiodont teeth with low crown these two are the different views of first molar this one is a third molar and remaining are the premolars these belongs to different species of the camels these are the photographs of the k90 and these all are the upper premolars they are all of the different species of the camels here in this photograph a composite camel foot is shown it is being painted for better preservation it belongs to pleistocene florida according to evolutionary point of view the least changes are observed in the legs of camels as compared to any other vertebrate throughout the evolutionary period these are the fossilized skulls of different genera of extinct elephants this first one called phosphotherium is the genus the elephants of this genus were of small size they had small sized skull with nasal openings as part of the snout they lacked proboscis there was also absence of tusk and trunk another genus of extinct elephants called quadrilophodon here incisors of the upper jaw are modified into tusks while lower incisors are reduced here is another fossilized tusk of elephant the cracks over here shows that this fossil was not found in a single piece it was being repaired by the paleontologists among all the mammals elephants have largest teeth they are lophodont it means their teeth are having the crowns which are fused together to form the fused ridges they are herbivores and they feed on green grassy materials leafy materials it is a photograph of a bovid archaeodactyl species named as 
Sporedo Tragus Providence. It was found in late Miocene. Here the photograph shows the frontlet which is showing the horns of a bovid and these are different views of the mandibular part of the jaw. Here you can easily see that different types of molars and premolars are shown which have brachiodont teeth with low crown. So they were herbivores with habit of eating leaves from trees and bushes. Here are some more images of different species of bovid. They are showing molars and premolars and here you can easily observe that these are brachiodon.